This question asks for the slope of the security market line. And so this is uh, by nature a cap M question. And in the cap M, the slope of the security market line is the market risk premium. So it's the market risk premium. So that's what we're looking for, the market risk premium. So remember what the market risk premium is? It's just the expected return on the overall market minus the risk-free rate. Okay, so that's what we are looking for. So let's, let's go down here and, and write then our CAPM uh, equation. So for stock A, the CAPM says expected return of A is equal to R F plus beta for stock A times vector return on the market minus the risk free rate. Again, this is the market risk premium. So that's the slope. And so we'll just rewrite this as follows. Depending on what we're given, we may or may not need to go go forward. So if, if we had if we had been given, uh, say, the expected return on stock A and the risk free rate and the beta of stock A, we could have just uh, solved for the market risk premium right there. But as it is, we, we are not given the risk free rate, but we are given uh, some information about stock B. And so we're gonna have to go with a little bit different approach here and use a little bit of algebra. And so let me go ahead and write what we're given with stock B as well. So for stock B, and again, we're given, um, let's see, we're given these amounts, we're given these amounts, so we're given the two expected returns and we're given the two betas and we are after this right here. Right? This is what we want. Now, Looking at this um, algebraically, what do we have? Well, we just have two equations and two unknowns, right? We got two equations, two unknowns. And what are the unknowns? The risk free rate and the market risk premium, right? So we can solve these two equations um, by uh, substitution here, right? So um, again, we're after the market risk premium. And so in order to do this, I'm going to, as a first step, solve for each equation individually as RF and then substitute in. Okay, and then I'll find the market risk premium. All right, so um, solving each for the risk-free rate, I have the following. Expected return of A minus beta A times market risk premium. That's gonna equal expected return of B minus beta B times the market risk. Premium. So again, the way I did this was I solved this equation and this equation for the risk-free rate and then just set those two things equal to one another, all right? And so now I need to isolate market risk premium. So how do I do that? Over here to the side, uh, instead of going working down, you can see algebraically that the expected return of A minus the expected return of B divided by beta A minus beta B is equal to the market risk premium. And so once I'm here, I can just insert values and be done. We're going to go this way now. Right, so the market risk premium is expected return of A minus expected return of B. So 0.14 minus 
0.075 divided by the difference in betas. So in the denominator, I have 1.2 minus 0.0. And that is 0 0.0986. There is the answer, right? And so um, now, now again, let's think um, algebraically what we are after. The market risk premium, it is the slope. Right, well, what do we have here in the numerator? That's the change in expected return. So that's the change in the Y value. So there's the rise. What's in the denominator? The change in betas, that's the X value in the uh, security market line. So there's the run. And so rise over run is what algebraically? It's the slope.